When we started off the brief for the project, we had an idea we wanted to use BIM. Everyone was talking about BIM. We didn't really know what it was. So we had some conversations with our architect and he took us on a bit of a journey, helped to educate us what BIM was, what it wasn't. The UEA had really aspirational U values for this building and to achieve those we would have had to have put a secondary structure behind the cladding system which would have meant pushing the whole cladding system out and increasing the capital cost of the project and also the windows had to be triple glazed to achieve those U values. What we did was understood where energy was being used and how energy was being lost through the, through the use of the building to design out that super insulation. In fact, we've ended up with a much thinner structure and only double glazing, but we're still hitting the energy criteria that were set out for us. The, the BIM process really helps to minimise the amount of risk. So we have a surety of programme, costs, quality, all the key metrics. The real benefit is actually for the client side, the, the operational savings during the, the building's life cycle and the efficiencies that the BIM deliverable can bring during that process. And it's allowed us to ask lots and lots of very quick what-if questions. What we actually found was we found a sweet spot where the life cycle costing and the capital cost of those materials were in line with one another. And this building is very, very efficient. We actually s estimated that in that afternoon around the table, we saved three quarters of a million pound. That's some going. We were very pleased. It was a good afternoon's work.